Hey folks, this is Brian with Thunder Laser. Um, this is a follow-up to the uh, basic focus uh, article that we did. And we briefly mentioned the camera, but I just kind of wanted to, to expand on that a little bit uh, and, and about realigning the Lightburn camera and when that becomes necessary and, and how the camera plays with uh, Thunder's autofocus. So <clears throat> just as the focal point here is critical, it's also critical from the lens of the camera to the focal point. Now, the focal point is decided by you, whereas with the laser beam, the lens dictates your focal point. Uh, with the camera, they're autofocus or they have a focus knob on them, uh, so they're adjustable, so you get uh, the camera where you want it, uh, and once it's in place, then you focus it. So, but <clears throat> the the distance between here it's important that this doesn't change so here's where our autofocus system uh, is really cool with light burn cameras a lot of autofocus systems have a plunger on the head and you put the head right over the work and the plunger touches it and then it'll stop well if it doesn't stop you crash your head uh, or if the plunger misses the material but your head is still over the material it's gonna crash your head so our autofocus system you know of course this is looking across the bed um, let me move this out of the way for just a minute. So these are the two autofocus sensors on either side of the bed and they project a beam all the way across and that is the, f the autofocus point. So when you autofocus, uh, let's say you put a piece of 12 millimeter wood in there, when you autofocus it's going to come up until it breaks that beam and stop. So if you put a piece of quarter inch in there it's going to come up until it breaks the beam and stop. So the surface of the material is a constant. That does not change as long as you use the autofocus sensors. And that is ideal for this camera because this distance must remain constant. So that's what makes our infrared autofocus system so good. And uh, this is also the Z-stop. So if a piece of material you know, is, is coming up and it hits that, the bed will stop no matter what, even if it's just the bed, uh, and it keeps it from contacting the, the two inch head as long as it's uh, mounted and fitted properly. So when you go to align your camera, now the first part of that is the lens calibration and with the dots. Uh, you can sit in your chair and put, that, put the dots on a table and hold the camera above it and move it around. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have anything to do with the laser. And you should only have to do that once because that's correcting for the distortion in that particular optic that's on that camera. So once you do it, it's done. Unless, unless you change focus or change lenses or change cameras or something like that, that, that wouldn't need to happen again usually. So <clears throat> the second part of it is the alignment. And uh, that's where you put in a piece of scrap and you project those four uh, test targets or registration marks and then go in and mark crosshairs on them. Uh, when you do that, Whatever material you're using, uh, if it's paper, focus the bed and then lay the paper down. If it's cardboard, um, focus it. Use the autofocus. So whatever it is, um, if you use quarter inch, autofocus the material and then run your calibration for the camera just like that. So your focal plane is constant with the autofocus. As long as you do that and then, you know, etch the thing and do the crosshairs and then you're done. As long as this distance from here to here doesn't change, you're good. So as long as you use autofocus, your camera will remain aligned. Or, uh, so what happens if you want to cut down into a material? You can still manually focus, but the trick is don't move the bed up and down. Don't move the material up and down. Move the head up and down. So let's say you want to do some three quarter and you're going to autofocus it. But if you'll look, even with your four inch lens, you're focused to the surface. In that instance, leave the bed alone, uh, grab the head and move it down. Now you're focused into the material and the surface of your material is still in the focal plane of the camera. So it doesn't change. So hope that helps. Thanks.